Mo, Curly, and Larry are gas station attendants. Mo handles 30% of the customers, Curly handles 50% of the customers, and Larry handles 20% of the customers. They're always supposed to wash a customer's windshield. Mo forgets one time in 20, Curly forgets one time in 10, and Larry forgets one time in 2. What is the probability that the windshield has not been washed? That's part A. Part B, given that a windshield was not washed, what is the probability that it was Curly who did not wash it? So the first step in solving this problem is to define events. And in this particular case, there are four events. The first event is M, which is the event that Mo handles the car. C is the event that Curly handles the car. And finally, L is the event that Larry handles the car. And then finally, the fourth event is going to be W. And that is the event that the windshield is not washed. Now, given those four events, the part A here is asking what is the probability that the windshield has not been washed? Well, that's just P of W. So that's what the first one's asking for. Then part B says, given that a windshield was not washed, what is the probability it was Curly who didn't wash it? That will be the probability that Curly handled the car given that the windshield wasn't washed. I'm going to go to the next page to solve these. What is the information that is given in the problem? Well, the first thing we have is P of M, that is the probability that Mo handles the car, is 0.3. He handles 30% of the cars. The probability that Curly handles the car is 0.5. He handles the largest fraction. And the probability Larry handles the car is 0.2. In addition, we have some conditional probabilities that are given in the problem. This is the probability that the windshield isn't washed, giving, given Mo handles the car, is 0.05. The probability that the windshield is not washed, given Curly, handled the car is twice that, 0.1. And finally, the probability the windshield isn't washed given Larry handled the car is the highest of all, 0.5. So now we start in with part A. In part A, we want the probability that the windshield is not washed. So by the rule of elimination, and this is also known as the law of total probability, we want to calculate P of W. So P of W in this case will be the probability of W given Mo handled the car times the probability Mo handled the car plus the probability the windshield wasn't washed given Curly handled the car times the probability that Curly handled the car plus the probability the windshield wasn't washed given Larry handled the car times the probability that Larry handled the car. All of these are given up above, so let's just simply put those numbers in place. Probability of W given M is 0.05, and that gets multiplied by 0.3. Probability W given C is 0.1, and that gets multiplied by 0.5. And finally, um, P of W given L is 0.5 
and that gets multiplied by 0.2. Adding these up, you get 0 0.015 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.1 and when you add all those numbers up you get the probability that the windshield isn't washed is 0.165. Now I want to kind of look back and see what we've done here. If you look at these three probabilities here we know that our final answer which is the probability the windshield wasn't washed must lie between the smallest of these, 0.05, and the largest of these, which is 0.5, and it does lie in that range. Furthermore, what we're doing here is we are taking a weighted average, and these are the weights, and we're applying those weights to these probabilities in order to get P of W. On to Part B. By the rule of Bayes, is sometimes known as Bayes law or a number of other things. We want the probability that Curly handled the car given the windshield wasn't washed. Now I like to rather than just going straight to the rule of Bayes I like using the definition of conditional probability and just writing that down here. This is the probability of C intersect W times or divided by the probability of W And the probability of C intersect W is the probability of W given C times the probability of C. And then I'm just going to write the denominator here as P of W. You can see we calculated P of W in the previous, uh, the, uh, previous example. So uh, I will not write it out in this case. In this case, P of W given C times the probability of C, that was calculated right up here. And so that turns out to be 0.05. And P of W, we got from part A, that is 0.165. And that ratio there turns out to be 0.3030. And that is the probability that the uh, car is handled by Curly, given that the windshield is not washed.